Good morning, chaps. It's Steve Pack again from Gobsmackers. We're a private tutoring company based in London. Um, today, I want to talk to you about technology. Um, I just went to see The Hobbit yesterday evening, and I saw it in the 24 FPS as opposed to the 48 FPS that Peter Jackson actually filmed it upon. Actually, as all cameramen film it upon, basically, um, and then it's reduced um, through software. Um, so that basically means frame rates per second, and um, it changes the whole cinematic experience. I'm told. I actually watched it in you know 24 FPS, as I said, and there's been you know a lot of furore um, from critics about it. So have a look at it on Google and see how it changes the kind of viewing experience. And um, this reminded me of an article that I read, and I think I actually updated on Facebook and Twitter about just the other day that there's a school academy in Bolton that have given all of their students as well as their, as well as their teachers iPads. So no books, or at least a, com a huge reduction in books, and in classes they're using iPads and isn't it amazing how fast technology is completely changing the entire landscape of human civilization actually, um, and it's now, you know, finally, um, or it is penetrating the classrooms. So um, I wanted your opinions on, you know, what's going to be perhaps the death of the actual book and the traditional kind of access that we have to learning in the form of the pen, the pencil, the notepad, the chalkboard, the t academic textbook. They're all being replaced by graphic projectors, whiteboards, smartphones, tablets, and uh, there was, um, in regards to this academy, a, a girl that says, you know, I actually hate writing, etc. And it's funny, interesting, isn't it, how, for example, that Twitter text messaging is changing the actual English language in real time. You know, things such as LOL and Tweet and, you know, Google and uh, TBC or as if or, you know, there's, the, <laughs> there's a whole plethora of things that, you know, I, I haven't even mentioned that are changing um, education. So, yeah, um, if you're listening, I want your opinion. Do you think these are good things? Do you think the fact that students are now have complete, you know, wireless and broadband access to the internet whilst they're studying is is a good thing? Do you think that children now um, no longer using textbooks in the same way, no longer having to write in the same way, but rather type or touch the touch screens is a, a good thing for education? Um, myself, personally, as a liberal arts graduate, um, I study literature at university. You know, I, I, I kind of grew up, so to speak, uh, like, like most of my audience, I'd imagine, you know, with books, with pens, pencils, and notepads. And it's, um, you know, with the, for example, being the good old fashioned to do list, you know, I try using many, many different things um, on, you know, my MacBook Pro. I use um, the notes function. I'm trying to use Wonderlist. I've tried to use Asana. Feel free to Google all of these things, by the way. Um, but then there's still for me that nothing quite beats a good old um, fashioned pen and uh, notepad. But education, is technology a good thing for education in the instance that all our children are now using iPads in schools? What are your thoughts? Let me know.